Well, something that did happen in the United States that does happen in war is some bombs going off. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Nashville bomber. Can you warm this up, please? Nashville, uh, Jamie, can you? No, <laughs> So who uh, was Jamie? Because <laughs> <laughs> Jamie could be a girl name. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Uh, Nashville Bomber, though. What do you think about that? You see all that? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a CNN article here. Did you have the same one? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, do you want to recap it? You want me to recap it? This one kind of goes over the like the day... The, the 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 day it happened and then like the day after. Uh, sure. Go 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 ahead. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Um. They so they have identified Anthony Quinn Warner as a Nashville bomber after matching his DNA to remains found at the scene of the explosion. Yeah. Uh, um. They've come to the c- conclusion that it was him. That Anthony Warner is the bomber. He was present when the bomb went off, and and then he perished. Um. Let's see. It says DNA taken from the scene was matched to Warner by forensic anal- analysis. Warner was 63 years old, um, nearby Antioch, Tennessee. He was already identified as a person of interest of um, the explosion in downtown Nashville on Christmas morning. The violence of the explosion was captured in a, in a Nashville police surveillance vi- video posted to Twitter Sunday night. The blast damaged dozens of buildings, injured three people, and knocked out AT&T wireless service in and around Nashville. There's no indication that any anybody else was involved, and no motive has been determined. Uh, Cornes, they declined to comment uh, if the blast could be considered domestic terrorism. And then let's see, they matched the DNA from Warner from the expl- uh, from the explosion at the scene. Uh, v- the vehicle ID number from the RV matched Warner, so that's how he was already a a person of interest because it was his his RV. Yeah. It says if anyone knows of Warner or encountered him, they should contact the FBI. The answers won't come quickly, they said. Though we may be able to answer some of these questions, none of these answers will ever be enough for those affected by this event. They asked if Warner was previously on law enforcement's radar. They said no, he was not. Uh, they were able to match samples of his DNA quickly because um, they were able to connect connect DNA from the family members. They uh, searched his home. They got DNA from there, too. They It's it's weird because it says CNN has attempted to contact the family members but have not heard back. I'm sure they can't really speak about <laughs> any of this since it's under investigation, right? Yeah. And then um, it says authorities continue to investigate. And it says, here's, a, here's what happened. Police said a boxy white RV arrived at 2nd Avenue North in downtown Nashville at 1.22 a.m. Friday. They laid... Um, 2.22 a.m. Eastern Time, for anyone that's watching Eastern. They later tweeted an image of the vehicle. Several hours later, a resident in the area said she woke up to what sounded like an automatic weapon. So, um, when she heard the sound again, she called 911. Police said they were called to the location after reports of shots fired around 5.30 a.m. So, he was shooting shots, like, before this happened? I don't know. Was he shooting them at someone, or, like, in the air? I don't know. That's that, that's part I never understood. Like I thought yeah. maybe just the explosion, she was just tripping, but it wouldn't one explosion unless it was multiple. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And then um when offers and then like it would be crazy, like crazy scene, but this is what I I must speak after. When officers responded to the scene, they found a white RV parked in front of an ATT transmission building that was repeatedly broadcasting the warning that an explosion would occur in 15 minutes. A computerized voice warned residents to evacuate now. The resident called. Nashville police officers involved in the response told reporters Sunday morning that the recording changed as they were working to evacuate residents from nearby buildings, eventually giving a three-minute warning, as well as playing the 1964 song Downtown by Priscilla Clark. The blast report occurred at 6.30 a.m. So apparently he had a recording um, syncing up with the timing of the explosion. So it doesn't really seem like he wanted people to die. That's what's weird. Uh... I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you after about this. I get, I seen an article while I was looking this up that says conspir- conspiracy theory. Yeah. Uh, 
We'll go ahead and talk about that after. So it says authorities went to a home after ex- the explosion. P- public records show that Warner owned a home on Biggertown Road in Antioch until November 25th when he signed a quick claim deed giving ownership of the home to a woman. Federal investigators were at the home Saturday conducting court authorized activity. Bomb technicians cleared the house to make sure it was safe for the evidence team to enter, but will not confirm who lives there. A tip about the RV involved in the explosion led law enforcement officials to Bakertown Road home, a uh, law enforcement official told CNN. A RV seen on Google Street View at the home appears to match the image of the one authorities posted. Investigators believe the RV seen in the photos is the same one at the center of the explosion, but uh, they can't be certain because it was destroyed in the blast. <laughs> so... Two neighbors told CNN they had definitely seen the RV that is pictured in the Google satellite images. They, they said they haven't, well, they haven't been out in the colder weather. They remember seeing it in the summer. And then uh, Warner previously had explosive user permits, handler license. And they're not connecting the blast to terrorism. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on that part. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, it's crazy because in the video, that you guys will see is like, there's literally a, a cop or security guard like literally walking right in that video. And then he, as soon as he gets off screen, there's a crazy explosion. Like, that's crazy. On Christmas yeah. morning. Yeah, exactly. On Christmas morning was the crazy part. What's this conspiracy stuff you're talking about though? Uh, supposedly, here, I'm clicking on the link real quick. I just, I just read the, t- the headline. But um, News 4 Investigates has confirmed FBI agents spent Saturday speaking with a top Nashville real estate agent who contacted who contact them after freeing the subcontractor who worked for him, maybe the same man whose home they were searching. Uh, let's see. Uh, for, it says that agents asked him whether or not Warner had a paranoia about 5G technology. I guess they asked the real estate guy. Um, he told the agents that Warner had never spoken to him about that. There, it says, um, federal investigation said that among several different tips and angles, agents are investigating whether or not Warner had a paranoia that 5G technology was being used to spy on Americans. Uh, so, and it says he was a tech guy as well. I guess he fixed computers and stuff. So, yeah, that's the only thing I can see. So the conspiracy is about 5G? Yeah, about 5G uh, spying on Americans. So, so they're saying that's why he blew the AT&T up? They're, they're asking questions about it, trying to see if maybe that's why. That's... I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's true or not, but it, the only reason why it would kind of make sense is because he was warning people to leave. If, if yeah. he was trying to kill people, I don't think he would have gave them that 15-minute warning or however long that. But he died, right? Yeah. In the Which, explosion? That's what they're saying. See, that's where I'm confused. Like, he's li- he's a warning, so he don't want you to die. But he's going to kill himself. He's going to blow up an AT&T tower or whatever. I think it was a building, a, a business. Was it a tower? Well, if it's a 5G, I'm assuming, like, the business has nothing to do. Like, that's, that's why <laughs> you didn't accomplish your goal, brother. Like, you know, brother? <laughs> you're part of the, you're part of the, the <laughs> cult or whatever. No, but, like, if you're trying to, 5G is the thing. You didn't do anything about it. Yeah. You warned people to go. They didn't go. You killed them. You killed yourself. 5G is still here. That's why it's weird. I think you were part of it. I might have been. You never know. <laughs> You don't like AT and T. You didn't accomplish your goal, brother. <laughs> I yeah, I don't. Yeah. That's interesting. Nah, well, this, this guy hates it more, though. <laughs> yeah, apparently, I'm not doing nothing like that. Yeah, they can they can self destruct themselves if anything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy, bro. And then the gunshot thing doesn't make sense to me either. Especially because in the article, they didn't say anything about the gunshots. They just said a lady heard shots. But and was then heard them again. Or not. Yeah, and it's crazy because she heard gunshots and then she like was chill and then she heard them again and then called. Yeah. So like if he was murdering people at first, it's like, well, she... it's her fault. <laughs> yeah. She should nah, have called first yeah, but that, uh, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Uh, and then it, it had the warning. That's weird, bro. Like. 
I wish he didn't kill himself so we can get an explanation here. Yeah, for real. Because why are you warning him? Like, it almost sounds like he was trying to be a hero. Yeah. But maybe he's from the future. He wouldn't leave. Maybe he's yeah. from the future and he didn't die. He just went back to the future. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. He had to find the, real tr- the true purpose of his soul. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Let's know. See yeah, that's crazy though, man. Um, I'm sure that's a trip. Like, imagine you're a cop and you yeah. pull up and there's an RV just like saying that. Maybe not a warning. Yeah. And then it starts playing music. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but isn't it weird though? Wouldn't the cops, like, if I was a cop and I seen that, I'm making sure everyone evacuates now just to be safe. Like, you don't know what's going on here. Oh, uh, maybe I didn't read that, but it says that the cops, um, uh, no one, not a lot of people died. Yeah, maybe I didn't read that part. Sorry. Um, it says three people were injured in the explosion early Friday and dozens of buildings were damaged. But officials say more people could have been hurt if, if, it, if it wasn't for the six police officers who evacuated residents after okay. hearing the, uh, the message. Yeah. I mean, that's good. So I wonder how those three people got hurt then. Did, did they not evacuate or were they just still close, too close? Maybe they were reached too last or, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or were, were, were any of them cops, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's why. I'm sure it would say if there were cops. Yeah. I don't think it would just say they're people. Just three people. Like, you know, yeah. It would say like three heroes or three brave officers. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, yeah, well, hopefully whoever got hurt is uh, fine. Yeah. No, no crazy so. damages. Yeah. It just says dozens of buildings damaged. So I'm sure if, if they were hurt, it'd say like seriously injured. You yeah. know, usually it says, or so they're like in critical really condition. The only one that really lost something. Well, on the building. Yeah, it says, the building. Yeah, it says um, they were, in, yeah, probably say they're in critical condition or they're, you know, they're more stable. Enough. You know, it, it usually yeah. updates that. So, I don't know. It's just sad that someone would do that. At his age, too, you said 67 or something like that? Yeah, like 63, 67. Like, yeah, that's what I thought, too. Like, what the hell? But it, it also know. sounds like he could be going crazy. If it's the conspiracy stuff, like 60 years old, he's a tech guy, he's losing a little bit up top. 5G, because yeah. 5G conspiracy has been going on before 5G towers are even built. Like, people were saying, beware of the 5G, it's going to cause all these problems with your body and whatever. Yeah, else. it gives you like, cancer, it gives you yeah. COVID. <laughs> I mean, people, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, but people were saying even the with the 4G, like, don't, like you shouldn't be putting your phone to your ear to talk, like speakerphone or something, like you know. Yeah. People always say there's all these waves going through your body, which I get. Which to probably is, but... which probably isn't the best thing for you, but I'm not. I'm not sure it's gonna kill you. Yeah, nah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so either. <laughs> I think like it just that. might affect your sleeping, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> In my room right now, I got my fucking my fully built computer right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>